Okay, now we're going to talk about the financial future. <clears throat> Now, you know I'm a former investment banker. Don't hold that against me. <laughs> I did private equity. I actually worked with very cool people doing really good things out there with their companies, you know, hardworking business people. And we brought in some great investors to help them. So it's not all bad stuff. I'm not a person who works in a bank, wasn't a stockbroker. But I'm going to tell you what, that is a scary world. And it is a highly corrupt one. And that's just the truth. Whenever you deal with large amounts of money, I assure you there's going to be corruption. Well, that's, you know, blatant on the whole planet, isn't it? But we don't have to be afraid of that anymore because things are going to change. And I want to talk to you about it in a very positive way because I want you to get prepared. I'm going to tell you how to do that. And it's going to be real simple. And it's going to be a decision you can make that could be life-changing for you in the most positive, beautiful way. And so when we have these situations, we're going to talk about fear, breaking through fear. Fear can be used in the most positive way, and it doesn't have to control or rule you or wake you up at 3 o'clock in the morning. So you're ready. It's going to be really a lot of fun, very encouraging. And so stick with me here. Let's go. Andrea Anka on YouTube here to help you break through those fears and live an amazing life. It's possible. We are in a matrix and when we accept this, that is, this is the game we signed up for and that we have every opportunity here to do amazing things and that's what we're here for, then all of a sudden things look very different and the challenges are opportunities and they're going to be painful sometimes, but what's the alternative? Doing nothing? allowing yourself to go into anxiety and depression, get yourself sick, and that's what most people do because they struggle with the situations that are happening out here that we're creating and in their own lives, not taking responsibility. Responsibility just means that recognizing that you're that powerful, that you can change anything, and that wherever you are now holds great purpose. Sometimes these things happen as opportunities for you to go down the pathway you're supposed to. But we are creating those situations we're in. That's why our planet is in such a mess right now. <laughs> it is the message, hey, stuff has to change. Now, we go through these cycles financially. What, every 10 years, you know, there's always something. There's always a crash. There's something seriously wrong with a system that crashes every 10 years. It doesn't work. If something works, it doesn't crash. It doesn't fail. We just improve upon it, but this crashes, and why does that happen? Why do companies go bankrupt or people lose portfolios? And Because there's all kinds of stuff going on out there that shouldn't be happening if we want service to others, community, and making a world where everybody can flourish. Abundance. I'm not talking about, you know, going into this, we're all going to have 1.2 kids or whatever. No, I'm not talking about that. I'm talking about total freedom to be who you are without having the constraints of trying to earn money, doing things you hate, getting sick because you have to take care of your families or yourself, you know, and doing things that, you know, to survive. That's not how we should be operating. But we take that as something that is just the norm and it's accepted, just like we go to doctors and we do what they tell us to and they're under constraints and they're, they're told that if they don't do that stuff, they lose their jobs. This is insane. This is stopping. We're stopping this because they're speaking up. People in the financial institutions are speaking up. We're saying we're not going to do this anymore and stuff's changing. Now, there's always going to be low-density people out there that want to manipulate the material world. Don't you worry about them. The consequences are going to show up in their own realities. It always catches up, cause and effect, and that includes you and me. Cause and effect. Whatever I do, I'm putting out there. It's coming back. It could be in linear time, fast, maybe later down the road, but it'll show up and it's in your energy field. This is not what we want if we want to live in that world where we're not waking up at 3 o'clock in the morning worrying if our portfolio is going to be there. People are asking me, what are you going to do with your money? I say, I don't even think about it. It's fine. And if it's not fine, I'll survive. We'll figure it out because if that's what happens out there, we're going to have to come together to take care of one another. That could be a very good thing. So here's what I want you to know. 
first of all, the systems are going to change drastically because they don't work and I'm already seeing people struggling. Here's what I want you to know and if that's you, I'm seeing a lot of people struggling by the way financially, but they don't have to. It's not because things are happening out there and there aren't opportunities. In fact, it's the opposite. I see more opportunities now than ever before. People are concerned about things like AI. They think they're going to lose their job. Here's what I want you to know. If things happen and there's changes, then you have to expand. What does that mean? You have to start doing things and planning. You can't do this and everything around expands and changes and you're hanging on to this and it just doesn't fit into that world anymore. If you have horse and buggy and the Model T comes out, you don't keep trying to sell your horse and buggy. People are going to buy Model Ts. It's just progress, not always positive, but progress is evolving and we can do it in a very positive way. We can progress without damaging the planet and others and corruption and all that other stuff and that's your choice. So don't you concern yourself about other, so other people. That's judgment and separation and all that crap that we're trying to stay away from. Spiritual butt kick today. Yeah, you ready for it? May I have another please? Yes, you may. Alright, hopefully that didn't hurt too hard because what I want you to know is there are opportunities right now for you, even if you cringe at the thought of this, that could take you into spaces you never imagined. I have my students explore what I call passion. Oh, shocker. What does that mean? If you aren't doing the things you love, you're going to stay in a state of total worry, anxiety, low frequency. When you start to pursue the things you love, there are ways for you to make money on anything. In fact, that's what I show people. I can take, you tell me anything, gardening, take anything, anything, and I'll show you how to make money with it in a positive way. Not taking advantage of people, but contributing. When you contribute to the world and you show them new things, uh, you know, share your art, whatever, you're expanding. It's positive when you do it because you're in passion, not because you're struggling. You know what's really not good for you health-wise and all that other stuff? is when you're doing things that are not good for the planet and others that you don't even like just to make money and we think that's okay. But if we do something in passion, we make money, oh, psh, you're, you're trying to make money? Being spiritual or doing good things for the planet? You shouldn't make money. That's the dumbest thing I've ever heard on <laughs> in my life. If you're gonna make money and we're still in a mo monetary system, make money, go get skills. Learn something new. If you have talents, start using them. Find out how to use them. The internet is absolutely powerful. Ten years ago, I got trained on the internet. I knew if I didn't, I would spend the rest of my life in the financial industry just hating it. It got brutal. Now, I was on private jets and all this other stuff. Who cares? So enjoy 2023. 2024 is going to start introducing some very big changes. And 2025, you're going to see some major stuff come out that's very positive. There's going to be a whole group of people that are finding those positive solutions and they're going to introduce them. It may be energy, it could be all kinds of new monetary systems introduced and stop listening to that garbage. This is this fear-based stuff that's trying to push people to do things to the advantage of whoever's spewing the fear. But if you're doing something you love and your passion's in it and you feel like you're contributing in a very positive way to the planet, you're changing the whole world yourself, your family, your relationships, the way you earn money. It's going to be a very positive flow of abundance and it's going to be steady because when you come from that higher frequency of earning money, it will grow and expand in a positive way. You'll get more. Those who have will receive more. Those who have not will lose what they have. Why? Because when you say, I I don't have money and I don't love what I'm doing. The universe keeps giving you that. So I don't have, I don't have. And it says, okay, that's all that means. People who love what they're doing and they're, you know, getting, uh, earning from it and they're helping people and everybody's happy. The universe says, yes. And it gets you more and more. I'm getting more. I get, I have so many opportunities going on right now. It isn't funny. You have full control and when you go into that space of I have and you're abundant and you're going into giving, loving, passion, doing, getting more skills, expanding, using your talents and learning, 
in, in ways that are very positive, the universe says yes, and you get all of these amazing probabilities and opportunities to start to work. This is quantum physics. This is not woo-woo stuff. You must focus on earning income, not placing your money everywhere, hoping that you're going to save it and grow it. You have to get ready because if you don't have those skills, if you don't learn new things, if you don't switch gears and say, you know what, I'm not going to work at this job. What if you lose that job? AI can put people out of business, but not if you're learning AI. They're going to hire you because you know how to be productive and creative in ways that are going to be amazing. We have some big things coming. And it's going to be good because it's going to just dissolve the systems that have just been horrible for us. Living like this, we accept this. What's wrong with us? Density, that's what it is. But we're waking up and we're saying people should love what they do every day. They should not be in anxiety. People should not worry about losing their portfolios or their homes or anything else. That shouldn't even exist. There's something wrong with that system. That system's going to go away. That's what's going to dissolve. So don't be afraid of that. If you're hanging on to that, then good luck. You're going to be chasing money for the rest of your life. It's going to make you sick. It's an imbalance. But if you go into earning, no matter what happens out there, even if your stock portfolio doesn't do well, if you have money coming in, you're going to be okay. And if you have skills, you will know that you're equipped to get contracts or jobs and things that you love. So study the things you love. Clean out your closets. Get yourself organized. You're just like a massive creator. And you go fast. You break through fear. You know, you got your spiritual butt kick. And it's like, I am that. I am. Wow. Holy cow. Whew. The rest was made up crap. Right? Matrix illusion. You done? You ready? It's going to that new earth. That 5D is just a higher frequency. We call it 5D. I don't even know what that means. It's just a different reality. It's a higher frequency existence. Nobody watches negative media in 5D. It's not congruent with that frequency. That's a tuning in down here. And we go up here on the elevator to the penthouse and go, Wow! I didn't know this was up here. You're serving champagne? Yes, please. May I have another? Sorry, British people. I really, you know, I shouldn't do accents, but what the heck. You're whole and perfect, strong and powerful, <laughs> loving, harmonious, and happy. I got some good stuff that's going to shoot out here. When you get ready, these are free videos for online businesses. That's a training I went through. But I got something even better coming out here shortly that's going to blow your mind. I can't wait. Good stuff's happening. Get ready for it. Get ready for it. Prepare. Prepare. Learn, expand, go past fear, clean out your closets, quit putting crap on your body. Yeah, no more plastic, my friend. Love you. Namaste.